My brother's friend mentioned that he wants to have more Apex Legends patches for his jacket. He already has one, I think, but he couldn't really find any good ones to buy. So my brother said, hey, maybe my sister, that, that would be me, I'm the sister, can make some. And I was like, sure, how hard can it be? So I did a little bit of research on how to make patches. And one option would be to buy a 1000 euro embroidery machine which I'm not going to do. And the other option would be to just hand embroider the patch, pa pa to just hand embroider the patches. I've embroidered once when I was making a outfit for a cottage core themed birthday party. Wait, I can show you. I have it right here. I made this little corset. Look, I embroidered this. That's so cute. I. I like how it turned out. And I'm also currently working on a little landscape, so I do know the basics, kind of. <laughs> I think that's enough. <laughs> um, yeah, so so we're, we're making Apex Legends patches today. I have all my materials up there in my bookshelf, so I will get these. I don't know where to put it. Oh my god. I think this is all I need. Oh god. Little material haul. I don't know where my things are. I'm not really organized. Okay, okay. Box number one. What do we have in here? Okay, so here's my most of my um, embroidery things. This was like 20 euros on Amazon or something. A lot of it is really cheap material, but the I, I got this mainly for the embroidery hoops. So we're going to use those. And then I have my embroidery floss in here, which I'm not going to show you because it's not organized at all. You don't want to see that. I also got needles in there and then we have this. Yes, I don't know what it's called, but um, this will magically vanish when you put it in water. So we can draw the design on here, the, the pattern on here. And then when we're done embroidering, we can just put it in water and it will vanish and you you will never know it even existed ever. So that's really cool. Don't know what it's called though. So that's that. What else? I think the rest is in my other little box. Oh God. Don't look. It's not organized. Is this something I need? Okay. I'm just going to throw this on my bed really quick. Now my things. This is what I need. Okay. This is an another thing. This is apparently called Heat and Bond. This will turn the very boring normal patches into extremely cool iron-on patches and it will also protect the bag from <laughs> everything. I don't know. Um, yeah, it, it, it will protect the, the bag of the patches. So that's also what we need. And then I'm going to need the fabric, but I don't know where it is. Where did I put it? What the fuck? I lost my fabric. So. <laughs> this is what you get when you don't organize your things properly. I found it. Okay. I got black fabric because I want to make these like ammo things from Apex. I'm, I don't play Apex Legends. My brother tried to teach, teach it me once and I failed miserably. But these, wait, wait. I will show you on my very clean iPad, these things. Th this is what I'm making today. Very professional. Oh God. My plan is to leave these spaces empty. So I thought black fabric would look the best because you will see the fabric. Um, it's a little bit thinner than I thought it would be. Like you can see through it a bit, but I think that's fine. We're just going to use it. It's going to turn out perfectly fine drawing the design that's what i what i need to do first okay so the plan is to just put this on my ipad very professional but i think i, I just i just put the thing on my ipad and i'm trying to trace it without my screen moving too much oh money i don't know what i'm doing most of the time all of the time actually this is not working as well as i expected it would work i should have just printed this out this would be so much easier jesus christ Okay, new plan, print. Okay, we are back with a fully charged camera and also the design already on here. 
um, my printer didn't work. So like the complete arts and crafts professional I am, I just ended up taping this to my iPad. <laughs> Maybe not the perfect solution, but that's how I did it. So we got the design on here. Next step, fabric. Fabric in embroidery hoop. Yes. Wait, I don't think that's the right direction. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. That's how it goes, right? Yes. Okay, this is the smallest one I have that's not currently in use. So I'm going to use this and put my nice black fabric in here. This hurts my thinkies. Oh no. Now I'm going to cut off everything I don't need with this, these tiny scissors. I have bigger ones. I'm just too lazy to get up. Okay, next step, we need to put the design on here. I'm thinking I'm probably going to use a bright yellow color to secure the pattern to the fabric with a few stitches. And I, I want to use yellow because yellow is not in the design and so I don't forget I have them in there. Okay, I moved to my desk so that you can actually see what I'm doing, but as you can see, there's a flower on my embroidery project. I secured the design, the pattern with a few stitches, so it's it's not going anywhere. And now I just need to pick colors. I hope, I hope I have fitting colors. If not, then I will just leave this project by No, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm back with some new colors. I bought these three. They are not a perfect fit, but I think they will work, especially if you don't have like a reference directly besides this patch. And I mean, this is supposed to go on a jacket, so I don't know who is running around with their Apex Legends Wikipedia open on their phone, ready ready to criticize any colors. But um, so I think this will be fine. I think they will work well together. And I also redrew the circle because that wasn't round at all. It's still not really round, but anyways, who cares? Right, I, I wanted to start with the middle and I've been also been thinking about how many strings of the floss I want to use. And I kind of came to the conclusion that I think using one will look the best, even though I will possibly go insane. I got a string you can see. I will definitely go insane, but that's fine. Okay, I finished the middle part. Wait, that's that's wrong. I, I finished the, the middle, the light blue part, and I also redid the circle. It's still ugly, but maybe a little less ugly than before. Also, like all the stitches look a little bit wonky. These I can I can easily fix with the purple because I can just do straight stitches from here to there, and then maybe I, I can hide uh, my mistakes <laughs> with these i'm not so sure also it's me again i'm holding the camera i do realize this is probably the dumbest video ever because i don't even show you most of my process but i i really i do have to hold this thing like this close to my face 
so that I even see what I'm doing. So it's a bit hard to film. I will try to show you a little bit more. I'm, I'm doing my best here, okay? Um, next step is this purple color. This is the next color for the middle. And I'm just going to do stitches from left to right. Yes, that's the plan. And now again, I only need one. Oh no, it's stuck. I hate this. I hate this part. Okay. How do I do this? I think I... Did I get it? Come on, come on. Yes. Okay, so I'm about halfway done with the purple and look how good this looks. Wow, it's amazing. It's like a machine did this. Wow. The middle part still looks very bad, but that's that's fine. I'm, I will finish this and then my brother's friend can decide if he actually wants to put this abomination on his jacket. And that was the last one for the purple. Oh my god, this actually looks kind of good. <laughs> I don't know, I, I really didn't expect that. The purple, it, it just, it did so much. Wow, I mean, okay, if you look too closely, then then it's still ugly, but I'm a bit further away, yes. Not too bad, I have to say. Okay, now the last color we are going to use is this one. A nice blue for the outer part. And after that, yeah, some more steps after that. But so far, better than I expected, to be honest. So that's, that's not really nice. <laughs>
Oh my god. It's done. It's not completely done, but the, the design is done and it, it actually kind of looks good. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't think this would turn out to look like it does. I, I, I didn't think it would look like anything. I, I thought it was going to turn out way worse than it did. So, hello. I'm kind of proud of this one, but let's not get uh, excited too soon, that's what I wanted to say. Because now it's time to dissolve, to, to, to remove this. And I'm a little bit nervous about it, because what if it's like when, when you paint something and then it looks all amazing, and then you erase your, your sketch or you hide your sketch layer and you never want to pick up an art supply ever again. Maybe it'll be like that, or maybe it won't, we'll see. So. This will, this will dissolve in water, so we, we're going to need some water. Let's find some water. <laughs> Wait. Birds. Let's get this dry. I'm just going to put this on here. Full power. You know what? I just, I, I think I'm just going to cry. Why not? I hate it. I hate all of this. It's. It's not going great. <sighs> Sorry about that. Sorry about the sound. I forgot to turn my microphone on. I'm struggling. Okay, what is this? Okay, what did it say? Place adhesive on bag of material to be bonded. Paper liner should face up, figure one. Okay, so this side needs to face up, this side goes on my patch. If you ever want to make a patch yourself, don't do anything I just did in this video. How about that? That's my, that's, that's my tutorial advice to you. Just don't do what I'm doing. Okay, now this side goes on here. And then I guess I just iron it on, right? Step three, place and hold iron on the paper liner for two seconds. Repeat until the entire surface is bonded, allowed to cool. Like this, and now, Place and hold. One, two. That does not feel long enough, but okay, I guess it works. I thought for a second I put it on, a, on the wrong side, on the front side, but I didn't. Because I know what I'm doing. I mean, that's that was like way longer than two seconds now, but I still feel like it wasn't enough. So let's do a few extra seconds. Now allow to cool. I, oh, that's very hot. Yes. Okay, now we need to cut this. We need to, to leave a little bit of space beside the design because we are going to embroider a nice clean edge board or whatever. Again, I don't know what. Yeah, okay, okay. It definitely looked better when it was still in the embroidery hoop. It's not straight. We're going to finish this anyways now. I mean, yeah, we've come this far. So the last step, I'm gonna use black embroidery floss. Also just one piece of string. I'm really, really bad at separating embroidery floss. Okay, I got it. Camera, hello, very nice. Mm, needle, I need a needle. Let's go. Fuck. There's a needle on the loose in my room. I'm having another mental breakdown. Oh my god, really? Where did I put it? There's a very good chance it's on my bed. I think I am going to sleep on the floor tonight, but it also could be on the floor, so maybe also not a good idea. I don't know why I keep starting these hobbies where you like work with sharp or pointy or dangerous things. Like I also, oh, now I zoomed in. I also do stained glass and glass do be sharp. But I tend to forget that every five seconds. And then I cut myself and then I'm reminded, oh, well, it's glass, it's sharp. And then, then I forget again. And the same with needles. I will just put them anywhere and not think about it. I found it. You know where it was? On this little table I have beside my bed. 
where I looked three times. I got it now, that's all that matters. Now we can continue. I don't have to give up on lights. I'm sorry, no, that was a joke. All right, it's done. I, I kind of fucked up in the end and I don't think this this is usable because, I mean, I, I'm kind of proud of, of how it looks. It's It looks a little wonky and all, but I don't know. I made this, it's cool. It, it kind of looks cool, but the thing is these long stitches aren't tight enough i think like for something you would hang up on your wall this would probably probably work but this is supposed to go on a jacket and i don't know you wear jackets you jackets touch a lot of stuff <laughs> no but i don't know if it's on your jacket and you you um bump against something or whatever or you put the jacket in a bag or I don't know then I think this won't be very durable not durable enough at least but I don't know it's not a very good conclusion for the video yeah, sometimes things just don't work out as you planned still it was the first patch I ever made it, it definitely is a patch you could iron it onto a jacket and I, I kind of still think it's cool it was a lot of work it took a long time and my hand now hurts but <laughs> I don't know. I, I would still ask my brother's friend if he wants it or not. <laughs> he can decide what to make of this. <laughs> Look, my mom and I do want to buy an embroidery machine at some point. So maybe I, I will redo it then in, in better. But yeah, for now, I made this. And if you've watched the video all the way to the end to, to right now, then... Jesus Christ, but also thank you. Thank you very much. Go subscribe for more chaos. I don't know what to say. This this is just how all my projects go. But I'm having fun. And maybe you want to have fun with me. That sounded wrong. Maybe we can we can have fun together. Also sounded wrong. You know what I mean. Just just go go subscribe that if if you like if you maybe still enjoyed this video. I do have some cool things planned for September and October. It is September, but for the end of September and the full October because might be might be a few ghosts lurking around the corner i don't know someone tells me this channel will ch channel will be a bit haunted for the next few weeks but um yeah much more about that soon for now goodbye say goodbye to this abomination <laughs>